On day one, I appeared in the world of tabs. Whoa, I'm actually Saitama, but something's wrong. I'm missing my yellow outfit, and I feel weak. Like, really weak. All of a sudden, a group of robbers showed up and surrounded me. Oh, hello, my new old friend. Hmm, you are weak now. Yes, so very weak. I was under attack. There were too many of them. I was terrified. I didn't have any strength or speed to fight them. But maybe you could be the powerful opponent that I've been looking for. I found an opening and ran away as fast as I could. Weak! He is too weak. But I sense something hidden. Somehow hidden deep within him. If I encourage him, he could be my most powerful opponent yet. Run. Run, Saitama. Run with all your might. When I am done with you, you will be my best friend. I managed to escape the robbers and came to a land of many old buildings. I found a decent place to sleep and fell asleep for the first night. On day two, I awoke among the ruins. I was cold and I was hungry, so I started to search for some food. I made my way to the top of the steps when I began to hear a weird noise. Someone was humming a strange song. I followed the noise to the top of the steps, where I found a mysterious old man. He had big flowing robes and a tall pointy hat. In his hands was an old wooden staff and a beautiful looking sword. I should have been scared of this old man, but for some reason I just felt calm. Hey old man, uh, sorry to barge in on you here, but I'm looking for some food. Oh no, not at all. Don't worry yourself with manners. I was waiting for you. You were waiting for me? H how did you know I was going to be here? Who are you? The old man looked at the distant horizon, lost in thought. My name is not important right now. You can call me the wise old wizard. Now, my dear boy, what is important is that we get you fed and ready for your training. I was surprised. This was exactly what I was looking for. I felt like I could trust this old wizard. I had this feeling like I knew him from somewhere before. So, boy, do you want to be trained? Are you ready? Yes, old wizard, I'm ready. Good, good, good. Now, if you want your first meal, you need to defeat my little desk down there. The old wizard pointed behind me, and I saw an actual skeleton walking up the steps. I was scared. But I summoned what courage I had and faced the skeleton head on. It swung its sword at me, but I dodged it. I punched its bony body so hard it hurt my hand, but I didn't care. I had to defeat it. With the final blow, I punched the skeleton into a pile of bones. Well done, my boy. Well done. You are worthy of your training. Now, come and eat some food. We have a lot of work to do. On days three through four, the wise old wizard and I traveled to a distant mountain. I was told that this place was called Mount Terror, and it was there that I would begin my training. Little did I know that we were being watched. Go, Saitama. Train. Become strong. So strong that only I can beat you. <laughs> I will be waiting for you. We approached the base of the mountain when our way was blocked by a group of tribespeople. Greetings! Wise old wizard, it seems like you have a new disciple. I was a little surprised to hear this. The wise old wizard had a disciple before me? This is of course Tim the tribal leader. This is Saitama. We seek passage to the mountaintop for his spiritual training. As you wish, wise old wizard. But uh, you know about the traditions passed down by our ancestors. Of course, of course. Um, traditions? Uh, what traditions? The wise old wizard pointed to the entrance of the cave. Enter the cave of Mount Terror and defeat the horrifying creature within. If you return alive, we will begin your spiritual training. I looked at the dark cave and I was afraid. I could feel the most evil energy coming from it. Oh, I almost forgot. Before you go, here. Take these. The wise old wizard gave me a pair of red gloves. Now my hands wouldn't hurt anymore when I punched. I even felt a little stronger with them on too. Feeling a little braver, I entered the cave of Mount Terror. The path was so dark. I came to a turn in the hall and found myself in a room lit by a fire. And there, against the wall, was a halfling. It's just a little halfling. Why was I so scared? Suddenly, the halfling lunged at me like a rocket. I was in the fight of my life. This halfling was quick, strong, and angry. 
I could barely hold on when out of nowhere my punch connected with the hobbit. I hit him so hard he went flying. I did it. I survived and my body felt stronger now too. It was working. I was on my way to becoming a strong hero. I returned to the wise old wizard with a smile. Did you destroy the evil vile creature within? Uh, yeah, but he wasn't a vile creature. I mean, it was just a halfling. The wise old wizard and the tribal leader recoiled in disgust. Bah, hobbits, vicious little ankle biters. Never ever turn your back on a hobbit. I said my thanks to the tribal leader and the wise old wizard and I made our way up the mountain. On days five through seven, I meditated on the mountaintop. The wise old wizard insisted that this was the way to open up my spirit energy, but I didn't believe him. Is this get up completely necessary? I thought we were just wasting time. If you want to increase your spirit power, then yes, now be quiet and focus. I continued to stand there for what felt like hours, but it was actually only a few minutes. Are you sure? about this wise old wizard? Can't we like just get to the punching? Oh, Saitama, always so eager to punch something. Not all strength is found in your fist. Now, close your eyes, breathe deep, and let your spirit wander. I listened to the old man and closed my eyes. I imagined that my soul was leaving my body, wandering amongst the stars like the old wizard taught me to. What was I supposed to find like this? What was I looking for? Suddenly I found myself in a strange land. My soul was on the ground once more in a realm I have never seen before. And I wasn't alone. Hey, Saitama. Fancy meeting you here. Who... Who are you? Welcome to the spirit realm. I was just here doing some training for our big coming fight. And lo and behold, you appear. Uh, our big fight? I'm not gonna fight you. I just want to become stronger. <laughs> you're right! Becoming stronger is the best! And what do you think you're going to do with all that strength, Saitama? You are going to fight me. I shook my head. This guy was crazy! What makes you think I'm gonna fight you? Because, Saitama, if you don't, if you refuse to become the One Punch Man, if you refuse to face me, I will destroy everything and everyone that you hold dear. Suddenly the man lunged at me. I tried to fight him off, but clearly I was no match for him. He wasn't even breaking a sweat. With a final blow, the man defeated me and I was snapped right back to my real body. I was shaken and I was scared. And I turned to look at the wise old wizard. Teach me, train me, whatever it takes. I want to be the strongest. I want to become one punch man. On days seven through 10, I completed my spiritual training. I had meditated for 72 hours straight. I now had access to a strange power hidden deep within me. The wise old wizard explained that this was an energy called mana, and with it I could accelerate my training. I could use the mana to sharpen my mind and strengthen my muscles. Your spirit has been sharpened and your mana is bursting forth. Now you must strengthen your muscles. Where should I go to train, wise old wizard? Go to the frozen north and meet with the north tribe. You will find a barbarian leader there. In that harsh realm, your body can be strengthened. I thank the old man for everything he's done for me, and I turn to set off on my journey. Oh, Saitama, before you leave, it is a little cold up there. Here, take these. I took the clothes from the wise old wizard and tried them on. They fit like a glove. Those are made from a special fabric that I had enchanted. They will keep you warm and help protect you from danger. With my new clothes, I set forth for the North Tribe. Well, well, well. Look at you, my enemy. My friend. Oh, how I wish for battle. For the clashing of fists. For my strength against yours. Soon you'll be ready. And soon I will have my most glorious battle. Journey forth. Become strong, even stronger than me. Only then will we meet. Only then we will fight. On days 10 through 12, I traveled to the frozen north. It was freezing outside, but I didn't care. Somehow these clothes kept me warm. I lost track of time as I kept searching for the north tribe. All these lands looked the same, and the blowing snow did not help as I was becoming lost in the wilderness. Suddenly, I happened upon a young boy. He was a strange kid though dressed head to toe in battle armor. He wielded a shield alongside a magnificent sword. I could sense that the boy was strong, so I approached him carefully. Uh, hello? My name's Saitama, and 
I'm a little lost out here. You wouldn't happen to know where the North Tribe is, right? Oh yeah, sure. That's easy. Just go that way until you reach a massive wooden door. The North Tribe's in there. I was so relieved. The sooner I found the North Tribe, the better. Thank you so, so much. I didn't quite catch your name, though. The young boy just kind of smiled at me. Don't worry about that and get moving. There are far, far more terrifying things out here than the cold and the snow. I shook the boy's hand and thanked him for his help and made my way to the North Tribe. I was making good headway when I suddenly heard a horrible roar. A pack of leopards leapt out of the snow and attacked me. I attacked them with my fists as their razor sharp claws tried to pierce my clothing. They couldn't hurt me though, as my new clothes were magically enchanted to protect me. The fight took a long time and I was getting tired. I hadn't yet trained my body to fight like this. I was beginning to lose when suddenly a crazed berserker leapt into the battle. The berserker was powerful and he was quick and together we defeated the snow leopards. I was so grateful to the berserker. Thank you so much. My name's Saitama. You just saved my life. Ah, don't mention it. The name's Braxton and I'm a barbarian. Fighting's what we do. I thanked Braxton the barbarian and together we finished the journey to the North Tribe. On days 12 through 19, I met with the North Tribe. This was the most painful and grueling week of my life. Their leader's name was Bjorn, and with them was his daughter Helga and their friend Larry. Together they agreed to train me on the good word of the wise old wizard. Bjorn would push me to my limits like a cruel taskmaster, while Helga would offer encouragement and kindness. And Larry created potions for me. I drank them endlessly as they restored my mana and replenished my strength. I did push-ups and sit-ups, and I ran for miles. As I grew stronger, I sparred with the other warriors, and even with Braxton the Barbarian. By the seventh day of my time in the Northern Realm, I had become strong. My muscles were bigger and harder than ever before. My legs could move faster than ever before, and my pool of mana ran strong and deep like the sea. I was a new man, and I was one step closer to reaching my goal. As I was wrestling with the North Tribe, the wise old wizard suddenly appeared before us. You look much, much stronger, Saitama. Well done. But I come with a warning. A gang of ice giants are on their way here. Defeat them and defend the North Tribe. If you do, I will continue your training. The wise old wizard disappeared, and I said goodbye to my new friends. With my new strength, I made off for the ice giants. On day 20, I found my new enemies. The ice giants were huge. I had never seen anything so big. How was I going to defeat them? They look so strong. I hid there and I observed them for a while. They were big and they were strong, but they were also slow. Maybe I could dodge their attacks and win the fight. As I was getting ready to make my move, a pack of snow leopards stumbled into the area. The ice giants could sense that dinner was near and they moved to attack. This was my chance. I could swoop in and defeat the ice giants when they were distracted. The ice giants closed in on the snow leopards and I closed in on the ice giants. The battle was fierce. It was man against ice giants. Ice giant against snow leopard. It was even man against snow leopard. With my newfound strength, I felt invincible. I threw my fists around with all my might, defeating the ice giants and destroying the snow leopards. I was exhausted and I could barely stand, but I won. With dragging feet, I stumbled my way back to the North Tribe. They greeted me with cheers. I was a champion in their eyes. On days 21 through 24, I rested with the North Tribe before continuing on my journey. I wanted to get back to the wise old wizard. He had promised to continue my training. As I scaled Mount Terror, I thought about what would come next. I was already very strong. I had gloves to protect my fists and clothes to protect my body. I mean, surely I was strong enough. Right? Finally, I reached the summit to find the wise old wizard waiting for me. You've done well, Saitama, but we're not done yet. But I feel strong enough already, wise old wizard. What's left to do? You may be strong, Saitama, but you are slow. A skilled enemy could predict your movements and defeat you with ease. I stood and thought for a moment. The old wizard was right. When I fought with the ice giants, they were more than able to keep up with my movements and slam me with their fists. How do I become faster, wise old wizard? You must go to the dynasty realm. There you will meet the monkey king. He will teach you the meaning of speed. I thanked the wise old wizard and began my long journey to the dynasty realm. In the distance, a figure was watching. You are wonderful, Saitama. My, 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 look at how strong you've become with every 
moment that passes, our hour draws closer. Soon, I will have my glorious battle, and it shall be glorious. On days 25 through 30, I made my way to the Dynasty Realm. The journey was long, and I made the trip with only a few delays. Some animals thought they had an easy meal, but I quickly changed their minds. I arrived among the pink leaves and the green grass of the Dynasty Tribe's land in awe. This was the most beautiful place I had ever seen. I felt an odd sense of peace in this place, but also a sense of foreboding. My spirit training had attuned me to the mana of the realm, and something felt off. I felt like I was being watched. I followed my instincts and found a lone figure. He had his back to me, but I had a feeling he knew I was there. You've come a long way, my students. Yeah, uh, hi. I'm Saitama. I guess the wise old wizard told you I was coming? The figure turned around, and I knew this must be the fabled Monkey King. I am the Monkey King, and this is my home. Do you think you have what it takes to complete my training? I didn't hesitate, and I answered him right away. Yes, I am ready! The Monkey King let out a soft chuckle. <laughs> my boy, we shall see. We shall see. On days 31 through 41, I trained with the Monkey King and his people. When I was with the North Tribe, I thought that my training was hard. No, this training was intense. My mana was being drained faster than I could replenish it. My muscles screamed in pain, and my mind fogged with fatigue. The Monkey King had his ninjas bombard me with shurikens, urging me to move my feet faster and faster to dodge all of the attacks. Finally, after 10 days of grueling work, I had achieved my goal. My feet were fast now, insanely fast. I could dodge every attack and move like the wind. The Monkey King was pleased. You've improved quite well, my student. Thank you, master. Now we must put your skills to the test. I will transport you to the Shadow Realm. There you must defeat your opponent using the skills that you have learned. If you return, I will send you to the next part of your training. I nodded to my master. As he pressed his finger to my forehead, my mind felt like it had been split in two. And when I came around, I was in a dark and twisted world. It was the dynasty realm, but everything was wrong. And there, standing before me, was an evil sensei. With a flurry of shurikens, he launched his attack. I dodged most of them with my new skills. I was fast now, very fast. It felt like his attacks were coming in slow motion. With dizzying speed, I closed the gap and defeated the evil sensei. And suddenly I was back in the real world and my master looked pleased. You've done it. You have completed your training. I am very, very proud of you. I thanked the monkey king and began my journey back to Mount Terror. On day 42 through 44, I traveled back to Mount Terror. I was happy with my training, and I couldn't wait to tell the wise old wizard about it. My, my, my. Look at you. Such a big, strong Saitama. Wait, I know that voice. It's good to see you in the flesh, little Saitama. What do you want from me? Oh, nothing really. Just don't disappoint me. The man suddenly attacked me, and I was quickly on my heels. This man was strong, and he was very fast. Even with all my training, I couldn't keep up with him. I was able to dodge his attacks well enough, but I couldn't land a single punch. Suddenly, he jumped backwards and began to laugh. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, this is more like it! You are much stronger now. But there is still so much for you to learn. Ha 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 ha! Go! See your old wise wizard. Become even more powerful. We shall meet again. With a laugh, he disappeared. <laughs> and I quickly turned my attention to the top of the mountain. Wise old wizard! Where are you? I need your help! What is it, Saitama? Did the Monkey King finish your training? He did. But it wasn't enough. I need more power! I need to get even stronger! The old wizard stood still for a moment deep in thought. You must go to the realm that once belonged to the evil King Philip. There you must find a hidden door. Open it. Enter the realm of good, and inside you will find the strength that you seek. I thanked the old wizard once more, and set out for the medieval realm. On days 44 through 49, I made my way through the realm that once belonged to the evil King Philip. 
I searched high and wide, but I couldn't find any secret doors. I was beginning to grow discouraged. I had to find this door. When I was beginning to lose hope, I heard the most wonderful music. I followed my ears until they led me to a bard. Hello there, my name's Saitama, and I have to admit it, but I'm a little lost. Hello there, my name is Benny. Benny the Bard, at your service, good sir. I was kind of surprised. This fellow was more than a little odd. Benny, listen, I'm looking for a secret door. Do you know where one is? Ah oh, yes, a secret, a secret. That's the thing with secret doors, eh? They're hard to find since they're so secretive. I shook my head and sighed. Ugh. Oh. Where is it? Oh yes, follow me, I know the way. I won't let you down, I won't lead you astray. I followed the silly bard through the woods and into a small clearing. Okay, Benny, where's the door? Down, sir, you have to go down, 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 down. So you can go in the door and go up, up, up. The bard grabbed his loot and ran away, leaving me alone in the clearing. Man, that bard was completely insane. I listened to Benny's instructions and found a ramp that led down beneath the ground. It was a door! And as soon as I approached it, something began to change. The door popped open, and inside was a dark cave. I went all the way inside, and all of a sudden the room began to glow. A portal appeared! This was my way into the good realm. I summoned my bravery and entered the portal. On day 50, I entered the good realm. And I was surprised by what I saw. I was in the clouds, in a world bathed with light. And I would have had more time to enjoy this world if I wasn't surrounded on all sides by paladins. You! Who are you? How did you get here? Uh, uh um, I'm Saitama. I came through a portal in a cave. Nonsense! That portal hasn't opened for a thousand years! Come with us! You're gonna see the Chronomancer! I was arrested by their paladins and escorted to see their leader. Soon enough, I stood before the Chronomancer. He looked very powerful. Why have you come to our realm? The, uh, wise old wizard sent me to get stronger? Ah, yes. That old man. Always sticking his nose into the affairs of man. The Chronomancer was silent for a time, deep in thought. If he means to help you, then we must do the same. Once before, we failed to heed his warnings, and it nearly brought ruin to us all. The good leader nodded his head, and the paladins released me. I was sent off to meet a curious-looking scholar who told me he would teach me secret martial arts. On days 51 through 60, I spent every waking moment training. The mana in this realm was overflowing with power, rejuvenating me and giving me all the fuel I needed to practice. Day after day, I was trained by my new master. He showed me how to use my mana to enhance my strikes. He told me to let my mana flow through my arms, to let it enhance my strikes and strengthen my muscles. It felt like my arms were moving faster and faster and faster until the unthinkable happened. My arms moved so fast it looked like I had a hundred fists flying out. I had gained an unbelievable attack. The Chronomancer looked on. And he was pleased. Congratulations. You have mastered the ultimate martial art. Consecutive normal punches. Really? That's the name. That's what it's called. Yes. Consecutive normal punches. An attack so devastating no one has been permitted to learn of its ability and leave this realm. Until now. I looked at my fist with a smile. I couldn't believe I learned such a powerful attack. Even if it had a horrible name. Go Saitama. Return to the normal realm. Meet with the wise old wizard once more. He will guide you. I thanked the Chronomancer and waited as I was teleported once more to the normal realm. On days 61 through 65, I journeyed back to Mount Terror once more. But when I reached the summit, the wise old wizard was nowhere to be found. Hello? Wise old wizard? Are you here? He's gone, Saitama. I turned around and the tribal leader was there and he had a sad look on his face. I was down in my village when I heard a horrible noise from the mountaintop. I rushed up the slope as fast as I could, but when I arrived, he was gone. I mean, I was stunned. This was the old wise wizard we were talking about. Who could have possibly done something to him? The tribal leader and I searched the mountaintop trying to find some clues. And as I looked in the dirt along the stone, I found what appeared to be a triangle drawn quickly among it. A triangle? What could that mean? I don't know, but it must be a clue. We stood there for a time in silence, 
trying to figure out the clue, but we were stumped. We need to find somebody smarter than us to try and figure this out. I can think of only one man, but you must be careful. He's known to not like the wise old wizard that much. Okay, who are you talking about? Da Vinci. Find Da Vinci. On days 66 through 72, I traveled to a strange new land filled with tall buildings. Rumor had it that this was where I was going to find Da Vinci. I stood in the middle of the town square, surrounded on all sides by large buildings. All right, Da Vinci, come on out. You know why I'm here. Suddenly, a large tank-like thing rolled onto the street. It was surrounded by many men. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Saitama, second pupil of the wise old wizard. Where is the old wizard? I couldn't see Da Vinci in his tank, but I could hear him laugh. <laughs> I have no idea. And isn't that the honest truth? That old buzzard is gone. And the only thing that upsets me is that I wasn't able to do it myself. I began to shake, my vision turning red. I was angry. I was furious. Enough of this prattle. Guards, give our guests a warm welcome. The soldiers advanced and I unleashed my rage upon them. I was too fast. I was too strong. I swarmed the warriors, sending them flying with my rage. In the distance, a figure watched with glee. Yes, Saitama, yes! Give in to your rage. Become even stronger. Our time is almost here. With the final blow, I destroyed Da Vinci's tank, leaving him all alone in the wreckage. <laughs> hey boy, it wasn't Da Vinci that kidnapped the wise old wizard. It was me. If you want him, come and claim him. It was that man again. He disappeared, so I chased after him. On days 73 through 80, I followed the tracks of the mysterious man. He led me on a merry chase through all sorts of realms before seemingly vanishing into thin air. I was in the dynasty realm once more and I was at my wits end. I ran with all my might to see my master. Master, I need your help. What is it, young Saitama? The wise old wizard was taken. I know the man who did it, but I don't know where they went. Using his spirit energy, the monkey king searched far and wide for any sign of the wizard, but to no avail. The wise old wizard is not in this realm or any realm that I can sense. This can only mean one thing. What is it, master? The monkey king paused for a moment, choosing his words carefully. The wise old wizard was whisked away to the evil realm. I was shocked. I thought the evil realm was only a rumor. Suddenly, I had a thought. Is that where you sent me when I fought the ninja sensei during training? The monkey king had a sad look in his eye. Yes, I wanted to prepare you in case something like this would happen. Come with me. I know where we must go. With that, I followed the monkey king to go and save the old wizard. On days 81 through 89, we traveled to the realm that once belonged to the evil King Philip. This was the second time that I stood over the place where the secret door led to the good realm. Master, why are we here? If this was the place where the secret door led to the good realm, then that means this place is where the dark version could take us to the evil realm. Yes, exactly. Good luck on your journey, Saitama. With a press of his finger to my head once more, I was transported to a dark and evil version of this realm. I followed the ramp downstairs until I came to the evil cave, where once light glowed, only darkness remains. I steadied my nerves and took a deep breath. And with a shout, I entered the portal. On day 90, I entered the evil realm. Inside was a world as dark and twisted as I could have ever imagined. I looked around and I found the wise old wizard. He was alive, but he was being held captive by the denizens of the Dark Realm, and at their forefront was a massive looking demon. Welcome! You must be Saitama. I'm sorry if we just skipped the pleasantries, but I've been dying to kill you. You know what? That sounds good to me. I entered the fray with glee as my fist exploded everywhere. I was so much stronger now than all those days ago. My gloves protected my hands. My clothes protected my body. My muscles were much stronger now. And finally, with a massive volley of blows, I defeated the evil demon, freeing the wise old wizard from his captivity. You've done it, Saitama. You've set me free. Ah, it was nothing. Don't mention it. Here, I've held on to this belt and his cape for far too long. They are yours now. Wear them with pride, for you are now the One Punch Man. I put on my final clothes, my evolution complete. I was now a hero. The wise old wizard and I left the evil realm and returned to the monkey king in the normal realm. On days 91 through 99, I told my masters about the strange man behind everything. The more I said, the more my masters became certain of the identity of the mysterious man. That man has only one desire in the whole realm. 
It is not world domination he seeks, but battle. The perfect battle. He seeks only to fight the strongest enemy he can find. His name is Vulcan, and he will stop at nothing to fight you. I stood in silence for a time, contemplating my next move. I won't let anyone else get hurt on my behalf. I will face Vulcan and give him exactly the fight he desires. The Monkey King shook his head sadly. I do not know for certain if this is an enemy you can defeat. Vulcan is powerful, and he is ruthless. I smiled sadly at my masters. I could almost think of them as fathers or grandfathers now. I know the odds are stacked against me, but I have to try, or this nightmare will never end. I said goodbye to my friends, my family, my masters, and set off in search of this strange enemy of mine. So, my wonderful friend, my happy enemy, you've come to fulfill your destiny. I turned to face Vulcan head on. I am not afraid of you. Your madness ends here. Vulcan released a hysterical laugh. Oh, no, my boy. It does not end here. This fight will end somewhere far more fitting for a battle worthy of us. Go to the land where the water gives way to the sand. Find the Great Pyramid. There you will find me. I recoiled in surprise. The small triangle drawn in the sand on the mountaintop. Yes, precisely. Vulcan vanished from my sight, so I set forth for the land in the sand. On day 100, I arrived at the base of the Great Pyramid, and Vulcan was there, waiting for me. So it comes to this, my dear boy, or should I say, my great man, for you are no longer a boy. Yes, I can sense the great strength within you. You are here, now, at full power. I was ready for our final fight. Your tyranny ends here, Vulcan. With a quick move, Vulcan teleported behind me, closing the distance, and our battle was commenced. I was thrilled. I could keep up with them now, where before I faltered, now only strength remained. Vulcan was no match for my power. Yes, Saitama, yes. Come at me. Fight me with everything you have. Give me all your power and let us dance. Let us create a symphony of destruction! Our battle waged on, and I was swiftly gaining the upper hand. And finally, with one last volley, I smote his ruin upon the sands. Vulcan was defeated, and I was a hero. I was One Punch Man, and Vulcan would never spread his evil ever again.